Today I announce a new plan to extend a human presence across our solar system. Good afternoon YouTube, welcome to Juice News. I'm Robert Foster, this is the top spot for true views. Lead story this afternoon is this. You lunatics, NASA to send a missile to blast the moon to bits. I have with me in the studio, General Baxter. Veteran, gentleman, representative of NASA. Good to have you here, General. Good to be here, Bob. Now this is something that we hear a lot. Has NASA completely lost it? What do you say to that? <laughs> Bob, take it back. No, just kidding, you know that. The whole fact is we're itching to go back to the moon with a human. But have no cash and no craft But we can't hold back We gotta start it Those sneaky ruskies are throwing flags under the arctic Besides, geez, the Chinese might seize the bull by the teeth And plant their own flag Let's face it, we got what it takes to win If God had wanted communists in space He would have gave them wings But seriously, you just need to see The moon is a mother load of helium-3 Just 23 tons is enough to power the US for a year at least Okay, so please, can you say what the objective of the plan is? The plan is we've used all the Earth's resources, damn it. So there's gas, we'll grab it. Land, we'll have it. Yeehaw! There's gold in them, their planets. So the first mission objective is to save expenses. The second objective is to generate attention so our budget don't get axed at the next election. Thirdly, we're detecting if the moon can assume the role of space waste collection. Fourthly, we want to build a lunar fortress, a staging post to get the universe and the moon's resources. Ice, diamonds, coal, cheese, brown people, mining minerals, uh, thank you for your time, General. It all sounds sensible, but is it a good decision? Some are convinced there's a dark side of the moon mission. Now, with direct link via satellite feed, is Terence Moon Seed from the Lunar Defense League. Mr. Shut up, Bob! You better listen! This unprovoked attack on the moon is terrorism, which the Shining Ones and the Galactic Force may well consider to be Earth's first act of war. And amateur astronomers are planning stupid parties where they'll grab their telescopes and view a kamikaze missile slamming into a lunar target of the NASA Masons and the goddamn corrupt Illuminati. You see, you need to see things mythically, then you'll begin to understand the conspiracy. The moon is the feminine, the huntress, Diana, and it's like 12 years since they sacrificed Princess Diana. The moon is what helped the Earth spin, dammit, controls the tides, procession, it's our twin planet, and NASA wants to bomb it, it's hollow, we might crack it. If this mission goes ahead, the LDL will hijack it. Alright, thanks kid. General, your responses? Bob. Bob, I'm not even deigning to respond to this dumb kid. Terrorism? Kid, I'll give you a terrorized face. Would you rather North Korea colonize space? We need to get up there and chart the minerals. You goddamn hippie bleeding heart liberals. We're trying to leave this world and build a better one. This is the cheapest mission NASA has ever done. And it's also the first attack on a neighbor. God damn it, you're not a servant of the world, you're a traitor. A traitor? Boy, I'm gonna beat you with spanners. Take you to a FEMA camp and teach you some manners. Manners? General. NASA is now a disgrace This mission contravenes Article 4 of the Treaty on Outer Space We're out of place They're singing the fake scriptures for the Bilderbergs And the reptilian shapeshifters Everyone should be up in arms It's the moon It's just the moon We never even went to the moon Fuck you uh, Now hang on General Before this gets too far Bombing moons Aren't we turning the world into a, a death star? What do you mean? Well we're paving earth Making it grey Erasing nature's worth Now we attack another planet Degrading it All of the Hollywood movies show aliens invading us but that's exactly what we're becoming violence it's inside us isn't this the spreading of the human virus that's horseshit Bob human virus we're the rulers of the universe look at your Bibles Bibles these Babylonians worship Isis and now they're gonna bomb where the ice is so they can bottle it and sell it to us for inflated prices uh, and you want to pay fair prices for your moon ISIS precisely so it's economics and prices rather than bombing the moon that's the crisis these guys are rich we just want a piece of the pie, bitch! Uh, I mean, it's wrong. Oh, Obama's bomb okay, is wrong! Okay, that's about it for the show today. But before we go away, I'll leave you with this thought. As the day's revolving, we may have problems, but is this our only way to solve them? Just bomb them? Aren't we supposed to be evolving? Yet here we are responding. Problem? Bomb them. As for colonizing space and the infinite system, should we be allowed on another planet before we've even learned to live on this one? Well, whatever should happen to the moon on October 9th, this is Robert Foster for Juice News, signing off. Good night.